Philippine Marine Corps hopes another batch of amphibious assault vehicle can be procured. Plans to add another 16 units. All of 8 AAV units has been delivered as of 2019 and currently operated by the Philippine Marine Corps. Before we begin please like, share and subscribe to my channel, thank you. To improve the Philippine Marine Corps PMC capability to meet its purpose of assaulting and deployment of Marine forces through the sea, its parent service branch the Philippine Navy PN, embarked on the Amphibious Assault Vehicle AAV, acquisition project. This would allow the PN and PMC to acquire AAVs and rebuild its capabilities that were lost when its previous similar asset, the LVT P5 and LVT H6 amphibious assault vehicles lost their amphibious capabilities and were eventually retired from service starting in the 1990s. These new AAVs represent a revitalized Philippine Marine Corps, and will be launched from the PN's existing fleet of floating assets, primarily the Tarlac-class landing platform docks that were designed to allow the use of AAVs. As part of the first phase of AAV acquisition, 88 units were planned for purchase under the Horizon 1 phase of the revised AFP modernization program RAFPMP. After a public bidding, South Korea's Hanfa Tekwon, now Hanfa Defense Systems was awarded a contract to supply the KAAV-7A1 amphibious assault vehicles, which are license-built copies of the base system's AAV-7A1 from the US. More are planned in succeeding Horizon phases, although it was noted that none were programmed for acquisition under the Horizon 2 phase. The Philippine Marines still hope that another batch can be procured under the proposed second list of Horizon 2 phase, which will be dependent on the ability of the Philippine government to raise more funds beyond the PHP 300 billion allocated for the approved Horizon 2 phase. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, thank you.